Today we need to talk about Hyunjin from Stray Kids being injured and what that's about. We also need to get into Felix apparently saying that he is not okay during a fan call. And then we have people saying that there was a gun pointed at the boys. So you dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hit it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab his own blue nuts, hey spilling mug merch, and let's go. There's been this concern going around for a little bit now and people then keep bringing it up to JYP hoping that the label will do something. A lot of it is very exaggerated and when things go viral on social media and the things are very scary as I usually say, it's probably fake. So what happened recently and what is all this drama? There was a viral video a little while ago where the members of Stray Kids were getting into a car and believed to be going to an event. It was believed that some of the fans that had showed up there were shining a laser to specifically Hyunjin and this was concerning because the fans feel like the laser could blind his eye or cause some serious damage that way. A laser can definitely do that if used incorrectly. But overall, I think since the boys would be constantly moving, the concern of being blind is definitely less. They can also easily cover their eyes with their hands should it actually be a laser. And if it's blinding, of course, they shouldn't have to do that. They should feel safe when they're out in public. But unfortunately, that is what you deal with as an idol. Now, there's another argument to say that the laser or what we think is the laser is not actually a laser. And so I want to talk about that and why people think it actually could be a laser. But people were initially saying that it was part of a camera. So while the lights were flashing, the camera lens can tend to pick up different colors. And we see that as sometimes we can see that it's not just a dot, but kind of like a spread out light. But we also sometimes see that when this alleged light goes near the members' faces, they don't wince or even sometimes seem bothered, which could show me that there's actually isn't anything on their face, but just a reflection of the lens and a reflection that's not going on their face, but just something that is being recorded, like ghost reflection or a filter in front of the lens. And I see that in some of the videos, but then there's other videos that show what actually seems like a laser. Now, what I think happened here is that since everyone was talking about how the ghost reflection was a laser, it probably made people actually use a laser when they'll know that they'll be in the same room as Stray Kids. This is just my theory. And then others were saying that if it was indeed a laser, it could even be a gun or a rifle. Less likely as that would usually be red. And I think it's less likely because why would someone with a rifle be aiming at a Hyunjin? I know people are crazy. I know people are literally insane, but a rifle with a laser on it can't just be bought. At least I don't think so. But also it's crazy to me that people are protesting to JYP and ask JYP to up security if that is the case, because how on earth are the security supposed to protect someone who is being aimed at with a gun, let alone a high powered one. And even if it was a laser pointed from a distance set out to blind the Stray Kids members, what could security do in that case either? Because if Stray Kids at a concert or any outside event, the person with the laser can still use it from afar. A good laser can travel up to 3000 feet and the really professional ones can go up to 10 miles. And I'm not saying that if this was true and the members were in danger, that JYP should just let it happen. But what on earth do you suggest they do? I don't even know. Of course, there's always going to be concerns when your all-time favorite people are seemingly getting hurt. It's normal to lash out and of course when you feel helpless, you turn to people who you think should do something. But I think it's quite unfair to do something or for those people to insinuate that if they're running a company, they would do a better job and not literally run the company into the ground. Overall, it seems like Hyunjin is pretty okay and happy with his situation in the label. Of course, we don't know, only time would be able to tell, and we can see that only he and the rest of the members decide if he would or would not renew their contract when that happens. Hyunjin was recently injured and some fans were very upset over allegedly how JYP treated them during this. And I'm a bit confused about it. And I want to clarify that this is being brought up now because people are using this as a reason to claim that JYP has treated the members very poorly. So so what happened? If you are unaware, Hyunjin around last year got into a bit of an injury. It was updated by JYP that he hit a door or something like that, and it was supposed to be a minor injury. The doctors had reported that it was small, and then JYP posted on Stray Kids' official account that Hyunjin will just be performing limitedly during the group's tour. It wasn't until after a few months had gone by and people were seeing that it seemed like the cast not only didn't disappear, but allegedly got bigger, and those questioned if it was actually healing or if he actually got injured in the 
way that the statement had said. And then Hyunjin had a performance at Music Core or Music Bank, and people were saying that you could visibly see Hyunjin wincing in pain, and then people protesting and asking JYP to stop forcing him to work. Now, there's a couple of things to debunk here. The actual way that JYP reported the injury was just so specific and odd that it has to be real. They could have gone with a very generic answer. The boys got injured through practice or through training, but then going with the answer that he bumped his hand on a door is I don't want to say almost embarrassing, but it's not like a super cool way to get injured. Like I wouldn't want to tell people I got injured that way. So to me, it seems real. When looking at if the label is pushing the artist to perform and not heal properly, there's many things to consider. A label, especially in modern day, cannot and will not force you to do anything. People love to spread the narrative that a label will force you, but even with things like plastic surgery, it is not forced, which obviously the members of Stray Kids didn't have surgery. But for the idols that did, the labels just urge you. They will hint towards it, and if you don't get it, you just might not debut. Now, the situation with Hyunjin is different. Is it that if he doesn't perform, he'd get dropped? Probably not. JYP would get a lot of backlash if they dropped him, and probably legal action too. But they probably ask Hyunjin if he can perform and if he is able to. He himself probably feels pressure that he has to, because this is not the same industry as working in a corporate job. It's not like you get paid when you take time off, or you can call out sick, and then tomorrow morning you go back and have your job. If you take too long of a break, there's been times where idols will lose their job entirely. It's not always based on the label. It's based on the fans. The fans lose interest and then the idol has to start from the ground up and labels don't like that because they had already put so much money and time into you only for you to start over. That's like saying idols who don't want to go to the military. It's because the label is forcing them to work. I think a big reason why the injury could have gotten bigger or anything like that is the result of him wanting to do it him pushing himself. Now, while I don't think the label is necessarily treating people badly, I do think they are being treated badly by their quote-unquote fans. And we are talking specifically about Sasings or Stalker fans. There's been more and more cases of this with the rise of their popularity recently. Apparently during a fan call, Felix talked about how he was not feeling okay. If you don't know what fan calls are, these are basically fan meets. The fan asked why and was being very nice. Felix responded to say that it was fine and he will be okay and then pushed the question back onto the fan and asked her if she was okay. People ran with this and had many assumptions, one of them being that it was because of the recent saucing activities and that sort of stuff. While I want to talk about that, I also want to note that not everything that is wrong with someone, especially celebrities, are things that happen publicly. I think people forget that a celebrity's job is to be a celebrity, but it's still a job. And so then I have to ask, yeah, having a job can add problems either with an annoying coworker or a bad boss. However, are all your problems because of your job? And do you no longer have personal problems either with your parents, other friends, or just introspective things like everyone always wonders if they're on the right path in life? So it's important to realize now, assuming it is about the Sasang stuff, the Sasangs were basically saying threats, and there was even a situation where someone called a bomb or some sort of crazy threat at one of their concerts. Of course, it's hard for the members not to be aware of these things, especially when they make headlines. It's even more tough being the idol and then being terrified to step out of the stage. If you hear that someone is threatening me and they're potentially in the audience, I would not want to go out. People are also coming to the conclusion that the boys were getting a ton of hate over on Bubble. Bubble, if you are unaware, is a sort of Korean texting app. The idols f set, sign up for that app and then you can either pay either a monthly thing or you pay per message. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but Stray Kids use it and they interact with a lot of their fans. And recently they've been getting a lot of hate. So people from other countries and the boys would open and read it. Of course, these things are going to cause a lot of stress and mental health issues. Imagine waking up every morning to such disgusting comments. And this was something Hyunjin was believed to be dealing with as well. So it is possible that they both can be upset over that. But I would like to be more positive and say it could be several different things. And the members probably wouldn't be so bothered by what the people or what I like to call sheep online have to say about them. They're busy raking in their millions. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this little big comment right here. Love you. Bye.